meeting with uh, we barbecue with the prime minister coming up together with a dialogue and also mm -hmm. there is something that is going on mm -hmm. they do they want our soldiers mm -hmm. to arrest barbecue or kill our soldiers mm -hmm. can you explain to us the reason why they want that to be done and you tell them the a function of our kenya police mm -hmm. is it to kill someone or mm -hmm. to do what tell them something well um before before we even get to that yeah. just uh, i think it is on tuesday yeah our forces, 200 more, yeah. went to Haiti. So right now we have a total of 600 yeah. of the Kenyan forces in Haiti. That means that the forces now have grown and only 400 are remaining here in Kenya because we were, or we promised, Kenya promised 1,000 forces yeah. over the 2,500 that are going to be contributed by also other countries. So, well, barbecue has made Haiti suffer. Mm. Yeah, Barbecue has brought a lockdown in Haiti. People cannot uh, move freely people cannot live freely. And if a person is coming to infringe in your freedoms and rights, mm. then you really don't want that person to be to stay any longer because of the pain and the suffering that uh, the person has brought. So that is why you're finding that uh, many Haitians out there supported the move to have Kenyans uh, mm. in, the, in, 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 their, in their soil. And you can find um, even different medias which uh, engage the locals. You'll find that they're saying, the locals are saying that Kenyans are welcomed as long as they, of, of course, as long as they uh, go with the laws, as how the laws are supposed to, to go, and uh, not uh, arrest people without uh, having cause or uh, causing harm to, to the civilians. So it is, a, it is a moment where the country is seeing hope. A country that has lost around 500,000 people to go to outside countries because there was unrest in their country. A country that has lost people to kidnappings and death and, and, and threats mm. is now seeing a hope, something coming uh, that will give them a future. So mm. Kenyan forces are there to, first of all, restore order in Haiti. Mm. They are not there to, to keep peace. True. This is not a, so uh, we can say a peacekeeping mission. It is not a peacekeeping mission. Mm. Uh, because they are not going to stand in the way and then allow people to negotiate. That is not the case. These MSS forces are going there to make sure mm. that uh, Haiti returns back to its normalcy. Mm. That means they are going to engage the, 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 the gangs and they are going to side. They are already siding with the government mm -hmm. that is given. So they are not there to say that uh, the government is on one side and the gangs are on one side. No, they are going to help the government to counter these, these uh, insurgencies or these gangs. So that is the role of the Kenyan forces. In Do you think Barbecue will give up on this fight? Do you think he's going to give up and say that, ah, I've decided to go to prison, I've decided to be arrested? Do you think it may reach a time that Barbecue may decide to give in yeah. to the Prime Minister's demand? It is not certain because uh, Barbecue has, uh, we can say he has come from, a very, f from very far. And uh, if you look at his history, uh, it, it goes way back, uh, mm -hmm. even during the presidency of Juvenal Moise. Mm -hmm. So this means that Babacu has, he has that goal that he wants to achieve. Mm -hmm. Recently it became political and he also wanted also to be uh, one of the presidents in Haiti uh, in history. So Babacu has a goal to achieve and uh, I don't think he's going to just lay down his arms. He's going to put up a fight and uh, I know all the forces, the Kenyan forces, the MSS forces, uh, are expecting, together with the Haitian police, they are expecting a fight from from Barbecue. Mm. Even in re in uh, recapturing that hospital, they engage in a fight. Mm. So, Barbecue is not there to to just allow people to come and then take their arms and say I surrender because of course mm. Barbecue will go to jail. Uh, if anything, he will be captured and he will go to jail and possibly he will never be released because. He has committed crimes against humanity, mm. killed a lot of people. So uh, come what, um, what may, he will put up a fight and I know they are expecting a fight. As you can see that recently Barbecue decided to recruit children. What mm. can you say about that? Why is he coming and recruiting children in his gang? It, it is unfortunate. Mm, it is unfortunate. Sad. And before you even come to that, I have to make sure that uh, I give also people the context of the Kenyan forces that yeah. are going there. These are elite squads. Yeah. You know, when people were saying that Kenyan forces are going to Haiti, many thought that there were these regular uh, yeah. police officers that we see around here. These are elite forces. These are Reke squad, uh, SOG. We have the Border Patrol unit. These are elite squads that mm. are at the rank 
almost of the military forces here in Kenya, True. you know, advanced military forces. So when when we are speaking about the Kenya police in Haiti, we are not just speaking about anyone. We are speaking about the best of the very best here in Kenya mm. that have trained for quite some time and even gone to urban warfare. They understand urban warfare very well. True. It's only that uh, they've not actually trained in the Haitian landscape and they have the Haitian police to tell them where to go and where not to go. That being said, it is unfortunate mm. that uh, Barbecue is using uh, children right. in his course. Because, uh, you know, a warlord is a warlord. If you're presenting your, your own views, regardless of what you're doing, an armed struggle or a peaceful struggle, at least there are some, there's some lines that you're not supposed to cross. Right. If you go to crossing those lines and using children, uh, to take up arms against uh, the government or other people, then I think that is beyond, that person is beyond saving. Sure. Yeah? These are the tactics that are being used by terrorists uh, in, the, in, in the Middle East, terrorists in, in some parts of Africa. So there is a need for us to have that genuine conversation because we understand people will always look at this thing twofold. Mm -hmm. Some people will support barbecue because of the disgruntlement that uh, people have against the West, yeah. against uh, people who have had power in Haiti. And that is okay yeah. because we have freedom of speech. Sure. But then again, we have also to consider that and, and look at the, the real thing that is happening. If you're using children to, to fight uh, the, this, uh, the government, then what generation are we expecting to yeah. rule over And you just Haiti? want to negotiate with the government. Exactly. Yeah. So it is very unfortunate that we are going to that extent, but it is something that many uh, gang leaders and criminals use. Mm. They use the innocence of children because uh, as someone who is underage, there is a reason why we say someone is underage. Because they are not mature enough. Sure. They cannot think uh, beyond what they are seeing right now. Uh, a person who is grown up will know that if I take this arm and I start engaging these people, I might lose my life sure. and people who are depending on me will, will have lost. Mm. But a child will not uh, perceive all these things. They will not see beyond that. Even if you look at what is happening in, uh, in Mexico and other Latin American, Colombia, which are fighting uh, drug or drug warlords mm -hmm. that are fighting the government, they use children. And that is a sad situation because when you're using a children, when you're using a child, that means that you are not respecting the laws of nature True. to allow uh, children to grow up, mature, and make their own decision. That one will be taken to uh, akin to you are trying to uh, sabotage their future. You are also taking away their innocence mm. and uh, you are radicalizing these children to only follow you. Boni, tell yeah. them something. Hello guys, today we are looking also at Haiti, at yes. the new developments that have been happening in Haiti. Yeah. Yes, we are very proud of our Kenya police. They yeah, are doing are. an extraordinary job to and um, raising the flag of Kenya so high in mm -hmm. Haiti. People mm -hmm. were saying that our police are going to face a hard time there in Haiti. Mm -hmm. Our police are going to be killed. Our police, they don't know how to speak in French. They mm -hmm. don't know uh, the language of people in Haiti. Mm -hmm. Our police don't communicate so well. What can you say about our police? First of all, Jeff, mm -hmm. let, me, let me speak to our nationals in the yeah. best language that they understand. Yeah. The police in Kenya, they will flop, yeah. they will come back like this, like this. 